Ready, lamb chop? Okay. One, two, three, one. Don't. T O N T. Don't. Forty-five, forty-five, yeah, forty. Oh, forty-five. I promised that you and I would have some fun for forty-five minutes, so that your mom or whoever could get some peace, or quiet, rest, nap, even sleep. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, I'm Shari. Hello. I don't remember what your name is. I'm sorry. Would you shout out your name? I promise I'll listen, and then we'll all be friends. Okay? My name is Shari. What's your name? How do you do? Shh. Look at that. Part of me really wants to sleep. And the other part of me wants to get up and play with you. What do you say? Should we get up and play? You go into the living room, all right? I have to change. Don't worry. It only takes me a second to change. You see? I told you it would just take me a second. I've a feeling you're sitting there wondering What can you get into today? What can you explore that you didn't before? And the games that you might like to play. When you think about all that you could do, I know it adds up to a lot. And I can't really say what you should do, but I do know what you should not.
When she went to sleep, and a hundred years later, when she woke up, she was still beautiful. That's all. That's all. That's what I call beauty sleep. Where do I get some of that stuff? Well, how come Sleeping Beauty did it and look a hundred years older when she woke up? Because she wasn't. Why not? Oh, Lamb Chop, I have told you this story a hundred times. I forgot. You forgot. Okay. We are going to tell the story of Sleeping Beauty. We? Really? Uh huh. You and me? No, no, no. You and you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. And you? Yes, and also you and me. Yeah, but how will we know what to say and, and you know, uh, when to say it? Hmm? Okay. Now, whenever you hear the word princess, your job is to go, oh, because she's a really beautiful princess, you know. Okay, let's try it. She was a beautiful princess. Ah. Whenever I say quiet, you go shh. Want to rehearse that? All right. The castle was perfectly quiet. Shh. And whenever I mention anything being really good, you can cheer. Not too loud. We don't want to wake mom, but you can cheer. Yay! Let's try it. Isn't this good? Yay! Yay! Uh, of course, when something is bad, you know what to say. Boo. 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 Once in a while, somebody will get a great big kiss, and then you go, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's try it. The prince gave her a big kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And whenever you hear me talk about horse, you can be the horse's hooves. Yes, you can. And you go, You can. You clap your hands together. You clap your knee with one hand. You clap your knee with the other hand. Ouch. And then you keep doing it and you speed it up. And when it's very fast and it hurts a lot, it's right. Okay, here we go. And this is the story of Sleeping Beauty. Once upon a time, a long time ago, in the days of kings and queens, one royal mom and dad gave birth to a baby. One day, the queen decided to give the baby a christening party. So she invited all four of the fairies in the kingdom who were good. Yay! Yay! But she did not invite the fairy who was bad. Oh. Each of the fairies who was good Yay! arrived at the castle on a flying horse. The first one said, said, when she sings, even the birds will be quiet. Shh. And the third one said she will be as pretty as a rose. But just as the youngest fairy was about to dismount her horse, who should arrive but the evil fairy who was bad? No. No. have a gift for the princess. Ah, she will prick her finger on a spinning wheel and she'll die. <laughs> the queen gasped in horror and the evil fairy jumped on her horse and flew away. The hall was quiet. Shh. Hmm? Nobody knew what to say. And then the youngest fairy, who was good, yeah. say, the princess Aww. will not die. She will just 
fall asleep for 100 years to be awakened by the kiss of a great prince. Well, the king issued a proclamation as of this day. Every spinning wheel in the kingdom will be destroyed. And do you know what? Every spinning wheel in the kingdom was destroyed. Isn't that good? Yay! Well, years passed, and the baby princess ah. grew up to be a beautiful teenage princess. Ah. And then one spring day, the queen said, oh, the weather is so beautiful. Why don't we take a drive in the country and show our princess ah. the oldest castle in the land. The weather's lovely. We'll stay for a few days. It'll be restful and quiet. Shh. So the king got up on his high horse. And the queen got on her middle-sized horse. And the princess oh, got on her small but royal horse. And they rode all the way to the ancient castle with its white turrets and its winding stairs. And when they got there, the princess was full of curiosity, which is, of course, good. Yay! Set out to explore the castle. She climbed the stairs, and when she got to the top, there were two double doors, and she pushed the doors open. And there she saw an old woman with white hair and blazing eyes sitting at a big round wooden wheel. What is that? said the princess. Ah, this is a spinning wheel, replied the old woman. And I am spinning, spinning. Oh, would you like to try it? Well, the princess grabbed the spindle, but the minute she did, she pricked her finger on the needle and she fell. Other living creatures fell asleep too, and for 100 years that castle was absolutely quiet. And then one day, a young prince came riding through the forest on his horse, and with his great sword, he chopped down the hedges so that he could enter the castle. And when he did, looked around and he said, boy, it certainly is quiet. And then he saw the sleeping princess and he knelt down and he gave her a big kiss. And at that, the princess opened her eyes and the spell was broken. And then everybody else woke up too and the castle was no longer quiet. And the very Next day, the royal couple were married, and that's good. Yay! And they lived happily ever after. And that's good. Yay! And that's the end of the story, and that's really good. Yay! <laughs> that was the best like story that, yeah. I ever heard today. Well, thank you, Hush Puppy. Oh, me too. Oh, thank you. Lamb Chop, where are you going? I gotta go look at a clock. Lanchop, what are you doing out there in the garden? I looked at a clock. I don't think it's time to wake Mom yet. Honey, what time do you think my watch says? The big hand is pointing to my nose, and the little hand is pointing to my belly button. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot that you can't tell time. I could count. Counting's good. That's a start. Oh, should I start to wake Mom? No, 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 no. Don't wake your Mom. No, no, no. You're hurting my arm. I'm sorry. There's lots of minutes before we wake Mom. Would you like to count the minutes with me? How long is each minute? 60 seconds. How long is each second? Ooh, 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 a lot. Ooh, you can count. Yeah. So you can count the seconds off. How? You just say, oh, I know, one second, two seconds. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. You say, one locomotive, two locomotives. What's that? What's what, Hush Puppy? A local motive. No, a locomotive. That's the railroad car that pulls the rest of the train. It doesn't matter. Just say it. Say that one locomotive. One locomotive. That took a second. What? 
Hush puppy on the time it takes to say one locomotive, a second ticks by. Sherry, if I say one locomotive, a second has gone by? Yes. So if I say one second, will a locomotive have gone by? I doubt it, hush puppy. <laughs> What's so funny? To count the seconds, you just add locomotives. Huh? So if I were to say one locomotive, two locomotives, three locomotives, up to 60, what would I have? A tired mouth. No, I'd have 60 seconds. And that's a minute. Can you count a second? There's one easy way. The words one locomotive take just one second to say. And if you need more seconds, which you might indeed, why just add locomotives till you have all that you need. But Sally, if one locomotive makes up one second, how long is the train that makes up a minute? There are 60 seconds to a minute, and if you say one locomotive, two locomotives, up to 60 in rhythm, we will fill a minute together. Like one locomotive, two locomotive, three locomotive, four, five locomotive, six. Good, 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 good. Start with one. Can you count a second? There's one easy way. The words one locomotive take just one second to say. And if you need more seconds, which you might indeed, why just add locomotives till you have all that you need. Does it come as quite a shock? Knowing that you can keep time like a clock. And you'll discover the difference it makes when you know you can measure just how long anything takes. You can time music or walk in some place. You can time all the runners run in a marathon race. You can time how long you bake a great big wonderful chocolate cake. Maybe your timings may be slightly wrong, but it's true you can really time things by counting along. Like you just reached the end of a one-minute song. <laughs> Baby. You haven't met the baby. Don't cry, don't cry. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? Dad, your baby. Dad, your baby. You get your mommy. Okay, okay, okay. Say hi to everybody. What's the matter? You shy? Oh, come on, just say hi. I fell down on my knee. You fell down on my knee. You talk funny. <laughs> <laughs> Would you take your thumb out of your mouth? Uh -uh. Take it out. What are you doing? It's wet. My thumb is wet. Well, you shouldn't be sucking it. It's good. You want to suck? No. It's good. No. It's talk away. No, thank you. What's the matter? Are you hungry? Ah, uh, baby. Tummy. Tummy. And it. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? Fill her up. Fill her up? I don't have any... Oh, Charlie Horse. Charlie, bring over some of baby's crackers, please. Now, get the cracker. No, no, shh, 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 shh. Would you like to recite something for everybody? No. Come on. No, say. Sure, you can recite. Oh, I know something you know. Big deal. Oh, come on. Say, Jack. Me? Who else? Yes, you. Say, Jack. Dad. Good. Good. Come on, come on. Jack and... Jack and... Jill. Good. Oh, thank you very much. Good. Hey, if you don't want to recite, would you like to sing for everybody? No, sing. What? No, oh, come on. You've got some songs in you. No, dog, just one note. No, no. Yes, yes, yes. You've got a note in you. I push your nose and it goes beep. I push your belly and it goes beep. Now you do it. I push your nose and it goes beep. I push your belly and it goes. Oh, what was that? 
something you ate. I see. Oh, there are your crackers. Charlie Horse, thank you. You want to say thank you to Charlie Horse? What do you say to Charlie Horse? Give me! No, no. You've been waiting for those crackers. And there they are. So what do you say? It's about time. No, you say, thank you, Charlie Horse. Thank you, Charlie Horse. Good. What are you doing? Don't suck the salt. Chew the crackers. Come on. One, two, three, chew. Come on. Oh! Oh! Look what you did! You made a mess all over your lap. Oh, and it's all over your chest. Is that it? Uh-uh. What else? Oh! <laughs> How are your crackers? Crummy. Crummy. Blessings follow you to bed, lullaby, and good night. Won't you close your eyes tight? Lullaby and good night. It's time to turn out the light. Oh. Come here for a second, will you, Sherry? Okay, John. Yeah, come here. I want to show you something. It's the big new trick in my magic set. Yes, and I'm holding the instructions, I tell you. No, Angela, those are not my instructions. That is the, f the second page of the instructions. Oh, yeah, that's the second. Oh, I got the first page here. This is called the disappearing victim trick. Oh, Charlie, who's, who's the victim? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, Lance Chuck. You said you wanted to be my assistant. Oh. All right. Now, the instructions say, to make a lamb scram, you say, ala kazoo, kazoo, kazam. Where am I? Uh. Uh, 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 I, 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 I don't know. I mean, what do you mean you don't know? I, I, I know where you disappeared from. I don't know where you disappeared to. Charlie, this is the most... Amazing thing I ever didn't see. No cheap jokes. To you, this is a trick. To me, this is it. Can you get me back? Sure, I can get you back. I got the instructions. Uh, where's the second sheet of the instructions? Oh, no. What? I know where the second sheet of the instructions are. Where? They're in my hand. Oh, good. Then you've got them with you, wherever you are. Yeah, in my hand. Okay, uh, that's swell. What do you mean, okay, swell? Read it to me. You're forgetting something. What? I can't read. Oh, well, uh, we'll just... do something. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do something. Uh, Shari, read the instructions for making a horse disappear. What? Read it. Rammy, zammy, ishka, bibble, and high diddle diddle, of course, is what you say to disappear a horse. I'm here. With me. Oh, well, good. Th then do you know how to bring her back? What do you mean, her? Us. I gotta get us back. Here's the second sheet, Jolly Horse. Thank you, Lancho. Oh, is that how you do it? You wave your wand and you'll have the knack of getting invisible people back. How was it? How was what? How was it where you were? Where were we? Well, I don't know. You weren't here. Well, we are now. Isn't it time yet? No. Oh, I think your clock got stuck on a number. No, don't wake your mom. How long can she sleep? How long can anyone sleep? Oh, anyone. I once heard about somebody who slept for 20 years. Oh, who? Rip Van Winkle. Is he awake yet? Oh, oh, Rip Van Winkle was supposed to have lived a long, 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 long time ago. Did you know him? Uh, no, he was supposed to have lived even before I was born. Oh, oh, that long ago. Whew. Heavy. Mm. Talk about sleep. I can tell a story about an unfortunate fellow who fell asleep, slept for years.
fears. The story's based upon the fears the people used to have when they heard thunder. They'd listen. They'd wonder whether that rumbling, humbling sound was bowling balls rolling on the ground. They'd think, those crashes must be the bowling ball as it smashes into the pins and knocks them down. Once upon a time in a mountain town, Rip Van Winkle was living his life in a house with a spouse, but a spouse, a wife, and a children, just one, and a dog, and a gun, a gun, a gun. He liked to hunt. Did he get a lot of food? To be blunt, he wasn't very lucky, and he wasn't very good. Well, one day Rip got lost in the wood, and he walked. And he talked to his dog, and he walked, and he talked till the sun was setting. Exactly where did he think he was getting? He knew he was lost. And then nearby there appeared this weird little beady-eyed guy, a tiny little fella with a big black beard. Why do you say that the man was weird? Because the funny little fella said not one word, but distant thunder could be heard. The odd little man took Rip by the hand, and Rip Van Winkle followed the man. Up they climbed to the mountaintop, and the peals of thunder didn't stop. They grew louder. Was Rip Van Winkle frightened? No, sir. Through the trees in an open spot, he saw a lot, but hot. More little men. There were ten, rolling their bowling balls again and again. What did they say? The only sound was the ball as it knocked the nine pins down. Oh, did Rip Van Winkle get to play? No, and since it was late in the day, he fell asleep. In spite of thunder and how he slept. How oh, I wonder. Very well. The sun was bright when he woke up. He slept the night. It seems he'd slept the whole night long. But when he woke up, <gasps> what's wrong? Of the ten little men, now there were none. And there was rust on his favorite gun. And his dog was gone. Why? And hanging from his chin was a lot of hair. In his sleep, he'd grown a long white beard. Oh, the night? Oh, this is weird. He hobbled down the hill till he got to town. And people gathered from all around in the village square to see at his raggedy clothes and his long white hair. I know everyone in town, he said to the people gathered round. But I don't know you. Do you know me? I'm Rip Van Winkle, said he. Where's my neighbors? Where's my wife and the folks I've known all of my life? The man stepped forward. Dad, he said, your wife, your neighbors, all are dead. You've been gone for 20 years. The young man's eyes filled with tears. I'm your son, but now I'm grown up. I'm glad you've finally shown up. Oh, Dad. Rip could not believe his ears. He slept away those 20 years. And in that town, to this very day, when thunder sounds, the people say that the thunder rumbling, rolling his little men in the mountains. Bowling. Hmm? Hmm? Piano. I'm banging on the piano. No, 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 you're gonna wake mom. Well, I have a song I want to sing, and I can't find the right notes. These are all right notes. Yeah, but how do I find the one I need? Lamb chop, lamb chop. It's easy if you get to know them. How do you get to know a note? notes. It's amazing how much they can do. First they give you a way to say things you must say, and they're wonderful company too. Some of my best friends are notes, and if making new friends is your aim, why the way you make friends with a beautiful note is you sit up and sing it by name. Just pick up and go to 
some notes that I know And I'm suddenly back at my best Some of my best friends are notes And I'm not overstating my claim When I say to make friends with a beautiful note You just sit up and sing it by name Sing so I'd sing my song. Um, do I have time? Time? What do you mean? Is it 45 minutes later yet? No, don't wake your mom. Okay, then I'm gonna sing my song. The song that I'm going to sing is, uh, uh, um, yum, 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 yum. Now don't tell me, I'll get it. Uh, it's, uh, um, mm. What was the name of that song? <laughs> I don't know. You didn't tell me. Oh, my memory is getting terrible, Shirley. Sherry. I'm Sherry. I'm sorry. That's okay. Now, this song you were going to sing. Yes, yes. Can you tell me anything about it? Um, it has words. Words? Yes, and also music words and music oh that's a great help thank you charlotte sherry no i'm not sherry i'm pork chop no you're not veal chop no chop liver no give me a hint sheila sherry no what's my name concentrate concentrate what kind of name is that concentrate no it's a shorter name than that um oh wait a second Happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, happy birthday dear Lamb Chop, that's who I am, I'm Lamb Chop, yes! How could I forget that? I know it as well as I know my own name. Oh, your memory is terrible. I know, but I never forget a face. Lamb, Lamb Chop, I would like to... Who is this person, Shelley? Shelley? Uh, this person is Jolly Horse. Oh, yeah, the Charlie is familiar. I just couldn't place the horse. What's going on? Lamb Chop couldn't remember the song she was going to sing. Yes, and it's right on the tip of my tongue. Let me see. No, it's not. <gasps> Maybe I swallowed it. <clears throat> Sherry, if you will go away, I will try to find out what's disturbing the child. Go away? Yes, unless I am alone with her, she may have a little difficulty talking to me. If I go away, she may have a lot of difficulty talking to you. It's okay, Charlie. She could stay. All right, but you have to be quiet. I won't even move my lips. That I gotta see. All right, now, now, would you please let your mind wander? I can't. It's attached to my head. No, no, no. Lancho, say the first thing that comes into your mind. Well? Be patient. Nothing came, Charlie. Oh, Lamb Chop, come on. Something must have come into your mind. You two must be patient. I'm not expecting anything. Oh. What? Oh. <sighs> I'm getting a thought. What is it? <laughs> Good. What is it? <laughs> it's a joke. You're sitting there and you're telling yourself a joke? Yeah. Is that dumb? Dumb? Not at all. If ever you wake up so sad that you could use a friendly stroke, just climb into your chair and the moment you're there, tell yourself a joke. What did one elevator say to the other elevator? I give up. What did one elevator say to the other elevator? Charlie was, I'm telling myself a joke. Tell me. The elevator said, Hey, I think I'm coming down with something. <laughs> if ever you 
you're so angry You can feel your ears begin to smoke You can put out the flame Playing the game of tell yourself a joke You see there was this guy And he was on a boat And he fell into the water And he, he didn't get his hair wet How come? You give up? Give up Tears from flowing, pick you up and get you going Anytime that life has got you down Yo, sure. If ever you're at that and you can't feel yourself begin to choke Just step out of the box, straighten your socks and tell yourself a joke Why did it take the monster two hours to finish a ten-page book? Because he wasn't very hungry. <laughs> Laughter cures whatever ails you. Guarantee it never fails you. It can wipe away the darkest frown. It can stop the tears from flowing. Pick you up and get you going. Your pocket and you see you're absolutely broke. Do you have any doubt that things will work out? So tell yourself a joke. A great big whomping, real foot stomping, sizzling, smoking, scream provoking, truly glorious and uproarious, funny, funny. Wait a second, wait a second, I got a joke. What is it? Uh, do you know the one about the hen? No, what happened to the hen? Well, why did the hen lay an egg? Why did the hen lay an egg? Because if she dropped it, it would have broke. <laughs> funny, 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 funny. It's a funny joke. <laughs> funny, 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 I love my friends, my friends love me, but still I know that I must be my own best friend in every way. I think I'm ready. A foolish move, a big mistake I'll tell myself I'm still okay I think I'm ready for today I'm filled with dreams, filled with hope And I'm so sure
bizarre time of rag. Come on, get out. Come on, get out. Now, just one second. One big fat second. Who told you guys it was time to wake your mom? You did. <laughs> <laughs> We would like to congratulate you on your 30th anniversary. Ugh, does that mean that I'm 30 years old? No, no, you're only three. How does that work? Trust me. And we thought you might like to see how Lamb Chop started in show business. So here is a scene from one of Lamb Chop's first television network series called The Shari Lewis Show. I thought that you said it was my series. Trust me. Take a look. Oh, my, this one was for Lamb Chop. I must have opened it by mistake. No? Yeah. Ha! Uh, do you read it for me? Sure. Who do you think it's from? Uh, uh, I think that it's from Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley? Uh-huh. Why should he write to you? Why shouldn't he? I write to him. Oh, that's logical. All right. Um, no, this isn't from Elvis Presley. Ah. Uh, that's the tenth letter in a row I didn't get from him. This one's from the United States Army. How is it, say? I don't know. It starts, greetings. Oh, so sweet. You think so, huh? The president and all your friends and neighbors would like, would like to inform you. What does it say? Oh, that's impossible. That's preposterous. What does it say? That can't. What does it say? It says you have to go into the army. Huh? Lamb chop. You've been drafted. Happy anniversary, Lamb chop. Thank you, Shelly.